Today I'm going to show you exactly how all the current kings and queens of Europe are related. I'll be using this family tree chart, which includes five kings, those of the Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, Norway, and Sweden, and two queens, those of the United Kingdom and Denmark. Currently, there are 12 countries in Europe that are classified as monarchies. However, only seven of those are kingdoms, meaning that their monarchs hold the rank of king or queen. These other five countries, all very small, have some other sort of monarch. Luxembourg has a Grand Duke, and Liechtenstein, Monaco, and Andorra all have princes. And yes, Vatican City is technically a monarchy. The monarch of Vatican City is the Pope, but keep in mind that the Pope is not actually a king. His exact title in English is simply that of sovereign. So my point here is that the terms kingdom and monarchy do not always mean the same thing. All kingdoms are monarchies, but not all monarchies are kingdoms. And in this video, I'll only be looking at the seven kingdoms of Europe. So the two monarchs who are most closely related are the Queen of Denmark and the King of Sweden. They are first cousins. You can see here that the Swedish king's father and the Danish queen's mother were brother and sister. For the rest of the video, I'm going to use Queen Elizabeth as the vantage point. The monarch that she is most closely related to is the King of Norway. They are second cousins. You can see here that the Queen's grandfather had a sister who married a King of Norway. So these two were brother and sister. These two were first cousins. And these two are second cousins. The next two that Queen Elizabeth is most closely related to are the monarchs of Denmark and Sweden. Both of them descend from Queen Victoria. That's through this connection here. That makes them both third cousins to Queen Elizabeth. The two queens have an additional connection though. The Danish queen descends from this former Danish king. But so does Queen Elizabeth because of this marriage here. So that takes care of this side. Now let's look at the other side. Philip VI of Spain and Queen Elizabeth are related because both of them descend from Queen Victoria. Let's look at the details. These two were brother and sister, meaning that these two were first cousins. That makes these two people second cousins. And it means that Queen Elizabeth and the former King of Spain, Juan Carlos I, are third cousins. The way to describe Juan Carlos's son, Philippe's relationship to Queen Elizabeth, is to say that they are third cousins once removed. The connection between Queen Elizabeth and King Philippe of Belgium is more distant. They are fifth cousins. However, note that I've shown them in the same color. That's because they are technically members of the same royal house, the house of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha. This was the house that Albert, the husband of Queen Victoria, belonged to. And house names are usually based on the male line, not the female line. So Prince Albert's paternal uncle became the first king of Belgium. During World War I, because they were fighting the Germans and wanted a less German-sounding name, the Belgians changed their name to the House of Belgium. And the British change their name to the House of Windsor. But really, these two are still the same paternal house. Finally, we have the Dutch king. He's the monarch that is most distantly related to Queen Elizabeth. 
However, they are still fifth cousins once removed because both of them have a connection to the German House of Württemberg. In Queen Elizabeth's case, it's through her paternal grandmother, Mary of Teck. Now, note that Prince Charles, the future king of the United Kingdom, is shown in blue. That's because he technically belongs to the same house as the current king of Norway and the current queen of Denmark. That's because his father, Prince Philip, is a member of the former Greek royal family, which in turn is descended from the Danish royal family, as is the Norwegian royal family. But it's actually unlikely that Charles will ever use the name of this house. The British royals will probably just continue to call themselves Windsor. This chart is actually just a simplified version of some much larger charts that I sell as posters. I now have two versions of my European royal family tree poster, one focused on the west and the other focused on the north and east. You can find both of those products by heading over to my website, usefulcharts.com. And before I go, I want to shout out a YouTuber I started following recently named Lindsay Holiday. She currently has a series on the monarchs of Europe and has made several other monarchy-related videos as well. So if you want more information on the kings and queens I mentioned in this video, you'll want to check out her channel by clicking the link on the screen or in the description. Thanks for watching.